of mine. Ah, Nikki. Okay, mono. Okay, mono. Let's go, Kissy. Bist du da? Ja, ja. Perfekt. Das ist perfekt. Das ist perfekt. Bitte. Ja. Did you know if you pause the Five Nights at Freddy's trailer at 49 seconds and brighten the image, you can see the silhouette of some kind of bear creature. This is a subtle reference to the video game the film is based on. Minecraft. Es Scooby, acabo de matar a cuatro niños y los puse dentro de esos trajes. Shoggy, ¿qué te pasó? Soy el hombre detrás del asesinato, Scoop. Ven para acá, conche tu madre. What do you think of? I don't. You're right. Terrible. Let's try that again. What do you think of Pomni? Huh? I uh, sure. Happy birthday, pizza, gifts, and cakes. Open all your 
presents until your tummy aches. Maybe you are one year older on your special day. And when this song is over, uh, you'll be on your way. from the ads want a break 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 from the ads
FNAF fans think this scene was too scary for Ruin. Happy birthday! Warning, warning! Child in danger! Safety mode active. Little girl, you can't be in here. It's dangerous. I need to clean up before we can open in the morning. Oh, this place will be flooded with kids. Come back soon and have a fazerific day. Five Nights at Freddy's is actually based off of a real crime that took place in a Chuck E. Cheese in 1983. One night in 1983, right before close, a 19-year-old man snuck and hid into the bathroom until he knew the doors were locked. There were five staff members on that night, one manager that was in her office, two crew members that were in the kitchen cleaning, and two crew members that were in the party room cleaning. Once he knew the doors were locked, then he started his spree, where he walked into the party room unaliving those two staff members, then making his way into the kitchen to do the same. While all of this unfolded, the manager is watching this on the security cameras. Before she was able to do anything, Thing, though. He was already in the office, forcing her to open the safe, then unaliving her as well. He was then apprehended by the police and sentenced to death, but his sentencing is still on hold to this day.
Did you know one of the animatronics in Five Nights at Freddy was actually haunted by a ghost? When it came to creating the popular costumes for the movie, the director wanted the animatronics to look exactly like the ones from the game, which meant not only making them look as creepy as possible, but also making them feel as if they were alive by moving every part of their bodies using a remote. But this is where things start getting really weird. According to people who worked on the set of the movie, weird and creepy stuff would always be happening. And during one of the final days of filming, one of the animatronics turned his head towards the director and literally started blinking at her. Now, this may not sound that creepy at first, but what makes the story even more weird is that no one was controlling the animatronics when this happened and all of the equipment was actually turned off and in an entirely different room than the one they were in. <laughs> Put the amazing digital circus on VHS. the fudge they're about to die hard shelled hamburgers is he gonna acknowledge that one i gotta get used to this looks like one of these guys made it through wait what wait what i know you guys love your npcs but if i start losing track of who's a human and who's an npc they killed him they killed gummy goo I'm gonna go drink water. It's been a while since I've done that. Oh, hey. Jeez, I thought he'd never leave. I'm really sorry about that, Pommy. Yeah, At um... At least you tried. You know, he might be back in a future adventure. I know Kane sometimes likes to reuse NPCs. Is that their way of saying he's gonna be back? I hope. I kinda like the Gummy Goo. Got everything. <laughs> 